Well, uh, I didn't really want it to start out as a museum, but uh, I started putting my own cars in here and I had uh, quite a few of them in here and uh, the visit Winona came up and said, I need to open this up and show people these cars. And well, I said, I had a real job besides this. So uh, I decided to start opening up, it's kind of a soft opening and, and it's just been growing every month, really. Jim Remlinger, owner of Remlinger Collector Car Museum in Winona, Minnesota, has cars and memorabilia no matter where you look. Despite this, he does have a favorite car in the museum. Uh, a lot of people always ask me that. Probably uh, behind me there's a 64 Dodge back there, a red one. Uh, and that one uh, was kind of my favorite when I was growing up. Uh, uh, when I lived in Chicago, uh, I lived about six blocks from the high performance Dodge dealer. So I got kind of hung up on the Dodges and that's why you'll see a lot of Mopars in here. Remlinger has been a car enthusiast from a very young age and spoke about how he got his passion for cars going. Way back when, I always tell everybody, I started building model cars and I just got hung up on cars. So, you know, uh, model cars and then start putzing around with regular cars and it just kind of kept going from there. I always say that's all I ever knew was cars. He touched on how his childhood accelerated his passion for cars. I used to go uh, to the racetracks around the Chicago and Indianapolis area and uh, that kind of got me hung up on, on uh, race cars and stuff. So uh, I just start collecting them and I just think they're a neat piece of history. The museum isn't just cars. Rumlinger also has quite the motorcycle room as well as go-karts he acquired in Paris. We bought them uh, over in Paris at an auction over there. I think we got about seven or eight of them in here. Uh, those little, they're little Ferrari go-karts and the Ford GT. Uh, they do like 65 miles an hour. Uh, the little guys raced those before the big races started to kind of entertain the people. Remlinger ended with a couple interesting things about the museum the public may not know. And we do take on a lot of car groups here. We have some cooperative events here. Um, and then, like I said, we hold two auctions a year here, uh, car auctions, which we have about 300, 350 cars at each auction. And that gets to be a pretty big deal.